What is up YouTube? So I'm back for another video. I usually do Instagram videos and now I'm over here on YouTube doing videos as well. So in this specific video I wanted to do kind of a review or maybe a few years later kind of thing, kind of video going on. And in this specific video what I'm going to be talking about is the Mono Guitar Sleeve. So I've been wanting to do this video because I got this bag you know off of maybe like two or three YouTube videos that I saw you know three years ago and uh, I was looking for something that would you know take care of my guitar as well as I would want a hard shell case too and something that I would not you know maybe you know get my guitar damaged on so I got this bag over a few videos that I watched and wanted to do a like a you know two three years later type of thing and it's been almost three years now since I got this specific bag and I also have it in gray which I'll be showing in a bit and I just want to say how great it is and I just want to you know maybe point out a few things which are why I bought this specific gate bag and you know maybe just you know show you what I believe and what I think makes this bag so great so let's get into a bit of the spec so it's made kind of of the shark skin technology that they call it's not actual shark skin it's just a really really thick kind of vinyl I'm not sure correct me if I'm wrong uh, and it's really really protective it's really thick to be completely honest and if you can see it inside it has the headlock which is patented by mono and this thing will hold the guitar just perfectly I don't know if for a Gibson guitar or, or a, a guitar with the slanted headstock would you know how it would work on this gig bag probably well considering a lot of people use it but I myself would you know rather go with the Vertigo for that kind of guitar and since I have you know Strat and my Telecaster over there I really don't mind you know with this one being you know as tight as it is so it has this headlock it has this kind of harder material over here which you know has not worn a day and I've been using these gig bags for every day for the last two and a half years almost three years now and as you can see it's virtually new it has the marks of the you know tuners but it's not you know something to be worried or concerned about versus other bags that would just break off you know in a few months of use and it kind of has this really really soft padding for the for the guitar itself and over here on the inside in the part of the bridge and whatnot it also has another type of fabric to you know not break with the with the different you know parts of the guitar and as for how much things or what it fits I'm gonna show you a bit of what I have inside it right now uh, it really holds pretty much a bunch of stuff I have a cable in here, a cloth for cleaning up the guitar, I have a tuner inside, uh, some strings, I have some, a huge kind of kit for, you know, cleaning and taking care of my guitar, not actually cleaning, more like, you know, tuning it up and, you know, setting it up, and I also have another strap in there, and as you can see, you know, there's a lot of other stuff that fit in, I've taken, you know, my, my iPad on in here, for gigs and whatnot and I've taken a lot of you know different things and really filled it, this up and it really holds fine my only complaint about it is that this specific locking device mechanism or whatever I believe it's kind of uncomfortable once you get you know pretty much on the fuller side of the bag but right now it's pretty comfortable to be honest so it's not it's just really something that I would myself would have kind of like to know about this specific bag. Uh, it, this is really uncomfortable once it gets really full, but honestly, it's not something that bothers me a lot, considering I almost never have it that much, you know, that, that full, because I have another bag for the pedals. And this is the black one, and I'm gonna show you guys the gray one in a minute. It's this one right here. It's pretty much the same. This one's the the cloth is pretty much a little bit different in it the fabric is it's just kind of more like you know polyester or I don't I'm not sure and this one's not as resistant maybe to water like the other one but it is actually water resistant as well and uh, I just wanted to make that quick video and I'll see you guys in the next one